Welcome back to Lightcraft Academy, back in San Diego on a bigger green screen in a bigger studio, or so it would appear that I'm a bigger studio. No, I'm not a middle school broadcasting student or sportscaster, but I wanted to show today how uh, immersive it is when you take um, some, some 3D images, in my case, an animation of a virtual set uh, in Unreal Engine that we made during the pandemic, um, trying to model what we thought would be a really, really cool sports set for our middle school broadcast. Taking that animation and then putting yourself into that animation, sort of creating this immersive illusion that, that it's all sort of one seamless shot, although I'll dissolve to myself uh, and then I'm walking around, I have some foreground, always a good idea if you can have some foreground action, you're gonna get that additional parallax. Um, just an interesting concept, in this case, um, I could do a sports broadcast with that opening and really kind of create the illusion that uh, I'm in this massive uh, 3D set. Now you could, you could go through your home or uh, wherever you wanna shoot your film and, and shoot those sort of the 3D walkthroughs, but I'm going to show you how you then put yourself into that environment shooting on another day, uh, or shooting in a situation where you need it to be nighttime uh, for eight hours of shooting. So um, let's try a different uh, approach or a, a different backdrop, and um, we'll see how that looks. So an entirely different mood, same concept. We started off with an Unreal Engine 3D sort of a tour of this, what is supposed to be a New York City apartment. Established that it's a really, really nice apartment. And now we are in the, what looks to be the kitchen area with the kitchen um, dining room table behind me. Uh, the same idea though, that we're really sort of adding a whole level of, a new level of immersion because we've seen the room in 3D and now we're cutting to the 2D uh, jet set shot with some motion. Um, and uh, it, it kind of brings it all together. It's really an interesting concept. I'm going to continue to play with this. Uh, again, props. I don't know that the books fit exactly. Maybe a cup of coffee or tea would fit. I see this um, specific set would work for um, a sitcom, um, some kind of a drama, even an interview. So. Um, Let's talk about how we exactly match, find the backdrop to match the animation, then we'll be right back. Let's go through the easy steps to turn our motion opening into an actual studio background play. For both the TV studio and the New York City apartment, I scanned through the video clip and found a frame that would work as a still shot for the backdrop. Once I identified that frame or frames, I simply take a screen capture and bring those images or image into Photoshop. A quick upscale to 4K and I'm pretty much done. In the case of the TV studio that was animated using a wide angle lens in Unreal Engine, I did some stretching to get rid of the wide angle issue with the sides not squaring up as well as I wanted them to. And a quick distort brings things reasonably back to an acceptable perspective. Often I will export a second version with some simulated depth of field added in Photoshop. Because I wanted some motion video in the TV sports studio background, I popped it to Final Cut and added a video clip, a video plane, resized and adjusted the perspective, cropped the left-hand edge, and added this with Gaussian blur to match the depth of field that we created in Photoshop a moment ago. In the end, we have a 45 second 4K clip that will loop in the Jet Set app. And now we're ready to do some virtual production. And we're back and wrapping up in this New York City, uh, beautiful, multi, multi-million dollar high-rise apartment somewhere in Manhattan. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to continue exploring this concept that we can merge 3D with some 2D work in Jet Set, make it all come together and um, make it really, really immersive, really, really compelling. That is what Lightcraft Academy is all about. As always, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. We'll see you next time. Got a ticket to the stars Jet Set on my phone Lightcraft through the digital